We have another great Halloween tradition here at the show. That is our half and half Halloween costume pageant. And this, we take half of one costume and we take half of another costume and we combine them. To, for instance, if you were to combine Darth Vader and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, you would have Ruth Vader Ginsburg or something like that. <laughs> it's, um, it's kind of a mashup. And with that said, it's time now for our 14th annual half and half Halloween costume pageant. <laughs> Wow, look at this. You guys are very festive here tonight. Hi, Guillermo. How you doing, Jimmy? Good. What are you dressed as? Circus peanuts, just like you. Do you, do you know what, circuit, what a circus peanut is? Uh, they show it to me, but I never tried it before. Well, don't bother. All right. All right, so here's how this is going to work. We're going to bring out these costumes. Uh, I'm going to pick one person in the audience, somebody near me, because I can barely move. And then if you can correctly identify the costume, you will win dinner for two at a popular L.A. restaurant selected by me personally. Guillermo, do you know the names of the restaurants? No, I don't, Jimmy. You do not? No. No. Oh, nobody knows the names of the restaurants, huh? No. All right, all right. Well, we'll figure it out. All right. So here we go. And uh, who wants to start? We'll start with you right here. All right, what is your name? Avery. Avery, are you smart? I hope so. We're going to find out right now. All right, send in the kids. Oh, this is a big kid. All right. So here we go. Avery, why don't you stand up so we can chat here? All right, Avery. Now, again, it's a half and half costume. So we'll start with Smokey. Smokey, what? Recliner? I, I don't know. Okay. Now, let's just. Well, you know, let's go through. Let's go through a thought process here for a second. <laughs> Does Smokey the Recliner roll off the tongue? No, it doesn't. Okay, take one more look at it. Smokey the Bear. Well, um, no, that's the actual uh, thing. Is a bear. bear. What? Smokey the Chair. That is. You got help on that, but that's okay. All right. What do you have, Guillermo? Here we got a gift card for uh, Musos and Frank's restaurant. Yes. Have someone help you order. Okay. There we go. All right. Thank you, Smokey. Uh, oh, is that the doorbell I hear? Well, I guess we've got another one. Hi there. Right there. Stand up. Yes. What's your name? Colleen. Now, Colleen, who is this? <laughs> Kermit. Okay. You got half of it. Oh, Lordy. Um... Now, it's a popular movie. I'm going to give you that clue right now. It's the most popular movie right now. Kind of looks like Joker. And Kermit adds up to? Kermit the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to move to that section, I think. Yeah. It's Joe Kermit. It's Joe Kermit. All right, but Guillermo, give her something anyway. There you go. Thank you. What do we have there, Guillermo? Uh, for Ma Major, Major Domo Restaurant. Major Domo Restaurant. Oh, there's the door. Let's see, what do we have here? Who's coming through the door? All right, um, Prince, stand up for a second. Yes, you come up here. Now, I'm hoping you're a little bit better at this than our last two contestants. What do you see there? Do you know the movie Frozen? Yeah. Do you know that character from Frozen? Nope. Go sit down. Wow. Give him the dinner anyway. Here hey. you go. You get dinner at Connie and Ted's. What are you, little person? Zola. Zoloff. Zoloff. It's, it is the delightful snowman and the antidepressant medication. Boy, I could use some of that right now. We spent about $80,000 on these costumes, and not one of you knows what it is. Well, let's get this gentleman right here. Yes, you. Stand up here. You're, it's your time to shine. Come a little closer to me. All right, what's your name? Julian. OK, Julian, what do you see here? Um, a karate kidney bean? Yes, Julian! Yes! Julian comes through for us. John and Vinny. Yes, you have dinner at John and Vinny's. Well done, Julian. You seem nervous, and wow, it turned out you really nailed it. Thank you, and we're going to have that for our staff lunch tomorrow. So, oh, well, what's that I hear, Guillermo? Is that a doorbell? Yes. How about this lady right here? Wow, you just showed up in your pajamas, didn't you? Yes. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany? Brittany? How old are you, Brittany? 31. You're never going to get this. Brittany, <laughs> what is this mashup? something on a fireplace. Well, 
Yes, I mean, that's a little literal way of, of assessing it. We're looking for the character. Do you know what that character is? I... It's Alf. So knowing that that is Alf, now what comes to mind? No. I don't. Al Alf? Guillermo, next year, let's not have the audience guess. All right. Yeah. We... What is that? Tell us, Alf. Remember, kids, I'm watching you. He's Alf on a shelf. Wow. Oh, all right. What do we have here, Guillermo? Tartini Bianco's. Tartini Bianco. Oh, that's a wonderful restaurant. All right. Wow. Boy, I'm really sweating in this thing. How about you? Do you think you can do better? Here we go. Step right up. What is your name? Adrian. Adrian, please help me here. On, you, we need to, on behalf of the audience, we need some representation. Now, look at the monitor right here. Okay, now what do you see there? A floating popsicle stick. You're, it's close. It is a kitchen utensil. Uh, what does it also look like? A vampire. Yes. What's the most famous? Dracula spatula? <laughs> That's close enough. Count spatula is what we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's Guillermo. Yeah. Restaurant. Republican restaurant. Yeah, Republic, yes, exactly. Congratulations, thank you. Wow, we're getting closer, we're getting smarter. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, did anyone go to college? Please, if you went, all right. The guy in the doctors, yes. Yeah, the guy dressed like a doctor, this is what we need. Somebody who at least is dressed like he's smart. All right. What's your name? My name is Mark. Mark, step down here. Mark, take a look, examine the hat, and let us know what this is. Salad E.T. <laughs> Leaf E.T. Look at the finger. Oh, guacamole E.T. Guacamole E.T. Yeah, exactly, guacamole E.T. Yeah. Thank you. Whoa. What yeah. do we have? Angelina Osteria. Angelina Osteria. Thank you, Mark. Congratulations. Wow. Here, okay. How many more of these? Oh, wow. Look at who this is. Oh. Let's see. Who do we have? It's a Seems like a basketball fan. Do we... Yeah, right here, this guy. You know? All right, yeah, you right there. You're in the Monsters Space Jam jersey. Step up here, take a look. Tell me what we're seeing right now. This one is not so easy. I'm feeling cheesy today, too, so. He's feeling That's cheesy. Good. It is NBA legend Meta World Peace, and what is his costume? Meta World Cheese? <laughs> Almost. Think Greek. Meta World Cheese. That's absolutely right! Yeah. Metta World Peace! Yeah. That is absolutely right. Thank you, Metta World Peace, for humiliating yourself. You get dinner at AOC. Very good. Thank you for playing. Metta World Peace has a new app. Check it out at xversusxsports.com to find on-demand pickup basketball games in your area. Thanks to everyone who participated. Thanks to our very below average intelligence wise audience and thanks to rodney and cindy and everyone in our wardrobe and props department for working on these costumes if you like that video click the subscribe button but only if you're ready for commitment